thank you to EA for providing me with the access codes for The Sims 4 Riviera Retreat and Cozy Bistro. So hopping in, we're going to start off with Riviera Retreat. So these are some of the items here. So it looks like we have a dining chair. I'm going to change my lighting so it's a little bit better than what we have because morning lighting is not the best. And this is a save that I did for my last kit overview. But so here are the colors that it comes in. I like the triangles on the back. I think I like the yellow one, which is not surprising to me. And then we have a poolside lounger. I feel like these are very, like, chic. I don't know, I like them. Like, the color schemes are very pretty, and I like the, like, design of them as well. So, let's go ahead and move over if I can. And we will go ahead, come on game. Thank you. It did not want to, you know, behave for me any. But, let's go ahead and take a look at the next thing. So, we have a table this is cute it's kind of small which like doesn't bother me any i feel like it goes quite well for you know something that's kind of like poolside but i like that i think i like the ones that you can see the triangles better and then we have a towel rack why is it so big i feel like that towel rack is giant but here is the color schemes for this as well so i'm assuming Everything comes in like a similar color scheme. Now, okay, it doesn't look that bad if you shrink it down at least. But I feel like it does look a lot tinier if you shrink it down by one. So it's probably best to leave it, you know, the size that it came. Then we have this little table here with the umbrella. Um, okay. So I see where they're going with this, with the patterns in the table to match everything else. But I feel like this would be a lot cuter if the patterns were in the umbrella instead. And then we have a drink tray, which I can just lay over here. I'll put this on top of this table. And we can go ahead and take a look at these as well. So you can see there's a pattern in the bottom of the tray. Now I'm assuming this is just decorative. And I know a lot of, like, the community wants stuff like that to not be decorative and at least have a function. We've got a fire pit. This is pretty. I like this. Okay, so this is the different color options. You can see kind of, like, different textures on the wood as well. And then we have something that I need a pool for, so give me a second for that. Okay, place down a pool. Now let's go ahead and hop back in here and we can go ahead and grab the lounger, put that right here, and we can kind of take a look at these. Okay, so these have patterns. Everything's very like stripe or triangle oriented when it comes to patterns, but I like that. And then it looks like we have a couple of rocks, but we have this plant next. Okay, so the plant color stays the same. It's just the pot that changes. But I like this. I feel like it's very fancy. Definitely more of like an outdoor plant to me. And then we have canopy curtains. Now, okay, so I also just found out while I was building a wall for the canopy curtains that we have a new arch with this as well. Let me move some of this stuff around and then we can go ahead and place down the archway let's see here if i can get this there we go all right so here is the new archway this is pretty oh i like this i like it in the more like wood tones but i like that so anyways um when i was talking about when it comes to the canopy now, that's already kind of disappointing to me that I can't layer the curtains over the top of, like, an archway. Because I'm thinking of, like, a canopy at, like, a pool. Normally, you have it in between, 
like poles, like a gazebo kind of thing. And if I can't lay that to kind of create the same effect, that makes me kind of sad. I don't know. But we have a couple of different locks here. These are very shiny. Like, I feel like they're, like, very fancy. Like, they look like they've been polished at some sort of, like, five-star resort. But I like them. I think I like the clay kind of color, to be honest. And then we have a fountain, which I might actually, I can layer that right here. So, this is another thing I definitely could see being at, like, a resort. So, here's the color options for this. Pretty. Romeo and Juliet Arbor. Oh my goodness. Well, this is pretty. Oh, I like the white one. The white one allows you to kind of see, like, the vines a little bit more. Look how pretty. And then it looks like we have some stepping stones as well. Now I'm curious, do these come in more than one color? Or like pattern? Okay, so it does. You get approximately two patterns per color is what I'm kind of getting with that. Okay. I don't love them, but I can definitely see how people could make them work. And then we have a pool light that I'll just like place over here. You know, not the most exciting thing to show off when I have to do it in a pool. But, yep, there's a pool light. And then we've got... Okay. So this is like a little candlestick that you can put on the wall. There we go. So let me zoom in. So I can go ahead and show you... So I'm assuming they light up whenever you click on them. Because some of these have lights and other ones don't. So that's my guess. Okay. Pretty, though. I think I actually kind of like the black one. Alright, so we also have a couple of a walls and a floor. So, let me go ahead and build another couple of walls that I can go ahead and show you that. So, let me go ahead and pull these up. So, we have this tile. And we have a stone. Oh, how I wish I could use that. So here's the color options. I kind of like the coral. I feel like it would stand out quite nicely. This could be kind of like a fun, I feel like backsplash tile. But here is kind of what some of these look like if you layer them across each other. And then we will do the same thing with the cobblestone. So here's just a few of the color options. And then we'll hop in and just do that. Oh. I feel like cobblestone needs to have more detail than what this does. It looks a little bit flat to me. But like I know there is some cobblestone that's flat like this. And then we have this flooring. I did not mean to do that. Uh, let me see if I can toggle the grid off. So that I can go ahead and show you the flooring. A little bit better. There we go. I should have done that earlier, but here is the floor. This is kind of like very Moroccan to me. I don't know if that's actually what it's based on, but that's what it reminds me of is like a kind of like Moroccan style. I actually like the black a lot. Here is the yellow, and then we've got the orange. This is definitely one of those ones I would use one of the brighter colors with, I think to add a pop of color. Okay, so starting off to the cozy bistro. So here is the floor for that. This is pretty. Uh, so here's a few of the different color swatches. Just to kind of go through this. I know I'm not like showing every single one. But you can kind of like get the gist of it. I'm kind of curious what this looks like. I don't hate it. Not my favorite. I think this one might be my favorite. The kind of like darker chocolate brown. And then we also have a wall paper with this as well. This looks very fancy. I like that though. And then here's some of the color options. 
Okay, so here's kind of like what the blue looks like. This one is probably going to be my favorite. Oh, we have a pink and a gray one. Interesting. I don't know when I would use that. We have a green. I like that too. The yellow is kind of like the darker, elegant black and gold kind of color scheme. And then we can go ahead and hop in. We actually have some doors to show off too. So here is one of them. Do I want to like, I can't rotate it. So it looks like it's meant to be backwards either way. It looks the same from both sides. And then we have the second door. Let me move this back over. And this one's more open. I like that. I feel like that's fun. So let's go ahead and take some, you know, look at the color schemes. So of course you have your natural wood tones. We have a blue. I like the woods. Ooh, we have a pink. Okay, so you can actually kind of have some fun with this if you wanted like the blue or the pink. And then here are the other, you know, door colors for the open door. Okay. I think I actually prefer the pink on the open door. Let me see. Yeah, I like the pink on the open door because it's not as, like, distracting to me. And then we also have another window. So I'm going to have to go ahead and make another wall here. Go back to the windows. So here is the window. It takes up the entire wall. But you can go ahead and take a look at the color scheme. So it's about the same for everything else, which, you know, makes sense. You want a bistro to kind of be cohesive when it comes to windows and doors. So it makes a lot of sense. And then let me just throw that back there so we can remember what that looks like. Okay, so we're going to hop into the actual, you know, buy items now. So starting off, we have this chair. I kind of want to put it here, but I feel like... Having everything else in the background might be a little bit distracting. So let me just move this over here quickly. Okay, so here is the chair. I like the plum kind of color. Oh, okay, so some of these have different shapes in the background, I think. Maybe, maybe not. So here's like the blue one. And then we have the booth which this is giant i wouldn't expect anything different it makes you know it makes sense but here's the color options i like the spice berry kind of color but i'm also a big fan of this like blue and pink not that the blue and pink matches the other color scheme we have going on and then we have the bar stool so here is what this looks like the pink's pretty. I think I like the more like pink colors in just kind of like little details. But I also like that this has a heart background here. I don't know. I feel like that's very cute. And then we have this table which has a tablecloth on it. So it is longer on one side for this tablecloth. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the swatches. So we have some that are, you know, gingham. I should also probably turn this around so you can see the color of the table underneath. So again, here is what these look like. Very elegant. Well, you can have them a little bit more like cafe style. We have a shelf that I'm going to have to go ahead and put on a wall. So let's just pop this right here. And we can go ahead and look at the colors. I like that there's an option that doesn't have the decorative um, thing on it. I can't think of words, sorry. It's super late when I'm filming this. And then we've got a couple of the back bars. So here's the color for this. This is a smaller one. And then I'll go ahead and show you the larger one here in a second, which I'm assuming probably comes in the same colors. But I like this kind of like off-white color. And then here is the larger one. So you would place these behind the bar. 
So here are the color options for this. I love the off-white. I feel like it's very pretty. Like, there's something about this color that's just very elegant to me. And then we have the actual bar here. So here's some of that. Um, I think there's a couple of different patterns on the actual, like, wood part of the bar. Okay, so yeah, so some of them are a little bit more elegant. Some of them are a little bit more, like, rustic. So that's kind of cool, but this one matches the other color scheme. We have some vintage art by the looks of it. So I'm going to have to move this somewhere here. So we can go ahead and take a look at the poster. And I can put this maybe like that. So here are the different swatches. Obviously it's going to be a little bit more like nectar focused. Because, you know, it's meant for like a bistro. So it's more of a commercial use, but still very cute. I honestly think this might be my favorite one. And then it looks like we have a mirror. Okay, so I just went ahead and I turned us around. So this is the mirror. It's slightly bigger, so you definitely wouldn't want to put it on a corner. It would kind of overlap a little bit. But here is what this looks like. And I like that you could definitely use this mirror in other things that aren't necessarily a bistro. Like, it could just be like a little elegant mirror. And then we have the little curtain. Now, this kind of styled curtain, I would use in like a kitchen. Like, I feel like this would look so cute in kind of like a country, rustic kind of kitchen. And then we have... Can I actually like place... Why do I have to place it down there? It's so odd to me that I can't put that at the top of the wall. But I can put it here. But here's the awning. So here's a few of the different color schemes. It looks like some of them have logos. Some of them don't. Or some of them have logos on the smaller part at the front, maybe. That appears to be the thing, but I like this. And then we have the intimate divider, so you would put this in between your tables. Here's some of the color swatches for this. I kind of wish you could change the color of like the white actual divider. And not just the wood grain, but it is still pretty. And then we have a nectar rack that I have to go ahead and build a room for, so give me a second. Okay, went ahead and I built a room. Here is the nectar rack. So it comes in a few different colors, but the gold is probably my favorite. So there is that. And then if I delete the lights I put down in here, I can go ahead and show you the two lights that came with this. So one of them's a ceiling light, one of them's a wall sconce. So there we are. They give off kind of like a more intimate, warmer light. But here is what they look like. I don't know why it's messing with the lighting whenever I'm looking at different colors, but for some reason it is. And then it looks like we have a decorative bottle. So maybe I'll go ahead and just like pop this over here on the table. I'm wondering if it comes in different swatches or not, because I feel like it probably doesn't. Yeah. So there's only one swatch for the bottle of nectar. And then we have a menu for two. This looks very cute. Let's see if I can position this properly. There we go. So you can kind of see it's got two nectar glasses, flowers, and the menu. Very cute. I feel like this would be like very cute for like a date lot. Okay, so there is that. And then we have a menu panel, which I'm assuming needs to go on a wall. Okay, so I just went ahead and placed down a couple of more walls here. So let me place this down. So here's what this looks like. It takes up, you know, an entire wall space. But it's kind of like your outdoor menu. Very pretty. I think I prefer the darker ones, though. Some of them, like the menus, don't look like they're readable. And then we have the 
sign here that I'm gonna have to like make space for. So let me just like put this here. So here's the bistro sign. So I'm assuming this will go outside. And I'm guessing you can maybe layer it with doors, but I'm not sure. Or maybe it would be like a pop out thing. And then we have a light. I can already tell this is not my favorite. Okay, so here are the color swatches. So, you know, basic color swatches. But tell me why it looks like a bell. That's all I see with this. It just looks like a bell. And then we have a coffee maker. Okay, place down a counter so we can go ahead and take a look at the coffee maker. So here it is. This is cute. It gives me kind of like retro vibes for some reason. But I like this a lot. So here are the color swatches for that as well. And after this, we are officially done taking a look at everything. So you'll have to let me know what kit are you planning on getting? What one do you like the most? But I think with that, we are going to go ahead and wrap this video up right here. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, you can hit the like button down below. If you want to see some more videos from me, you can go ahead and subscribe. I post videos three to four times a week right now. If you are already subscribed and want notifications for when I post, hit that bell down below and I will see you all next time. Bye lovelies.